Here we are at the end of year 2023 and here is year end video. Today we will learn about top discoveries about Neanderthals this year. Before starting this journey please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can get notifications of my newly uploaded videos. Happy New Year! The 2023 research on the Lascaux cave in France brought to light fascinating details about Neil artistic expression. The French archaeologist Jean-Claude Marc first entered the Lascaux Avenue in the Lair Valley in 1974. He observed fine lines on the wall which he suspected could be of human origin alongside these lines. He found Mysterian stone artifacts typical of Neanderthal toolmaking, suggesting the cave had been used by Neanderthals. This raised the question of whether the marks on the wall early evidence of Neanderthal artistic activity after nearly 40 years mark were joined by Dr. Dto Voke a specialist in archaeological use where analysis from the University of Barrel revisited the cave in 2016. Their goal was to use modern methods to confirm the human origin of the wall engravings. The team meticulously recorded the marks on the cave wall using photos drawings and later a 3D scanner. Voke then compared these samples with experimental marks. She made on similar rock using various tools and her hands. This analysis revealed that the cave marks were not made with tools but were scratched with human fingers. Researchers from Denmark examined the cave sediment determining that the cave had been sealed off by mud residues from the layer and soil sediments for over 50,000 years before its rediscovery. This time frame indicated that only Neanderthals not modern humans were present in Europe then attributing the engravings to them the geometric shape of the engravings with parallel and triangular lines suggested they were not random but made with planning and understanding. However, their exact meaning or purpose, whether artistic expression or some form of recordkeeping remains open to interpretation. The cave also yielded other intriguing artifacts including an object resembling a human or animal face and a potential oil lamp. These findings alongside the engravings challenge the traditional view of Neanderthals as mentally inferior and suggest a closer cognitive resemblance to modern humans. The research team believes that every new discovery in Lascaux will further dismantle the outdated consensus and reinforce the perception of Neanderthals as sophisticated beings capable of complex communication, possibly even speech and song. The 2023 study led by Gabrielle Russo on Neanderthals hunting cave lions provided groundbreaking insights into their hunting practices and cultural significance of these apex predators. The research began with the discovery of Ice Age animal bones including those of extinct cave lions at Einhorn Hurler or Unicorn Cave in the Hart Mountains Germany. These bones dated back more than 200,000 years a particular finding was a toe bone of a cave lion with a cut mark suggesting that Neanderthals skinned the lion retaining its claws likely for use the bones from Einhorn Hurler did not directly indicate hunting. Therefore, Russo examined another cave lion skeleton found in Zig's Dorf, Bavaria. An unusual lesion on the rib of this skeleton was identified as a weapon impact different from typical carnivore fight marks. This damage was likely caused by a spear thrust into the lion suggesting a deliberate hunting action by Neanderthals. This 50,000-year-old skeleton is the first direct evidence of Neanderthals hunting an apex predator like the cave lion and also consuming its meat. Cave lions were among the most dangerous animals in Eurasia for about 200,000 years. They had a shoulder height of around 1.3 meters and hunted large herbivores such as mammoths bison horses and even cave bears. Their regular presence in Ice Age caves contributed to their name. Previously it was thought that cultural engagement with top predators like cave lions began with Homo sapiens. However, the new findings indicate that cave lions held a special meaning for Neanderthals as well suggesting an interest in gaining respect and power from lion trophies. This aligns with the evidence of Homo sapiens depicting cave lions in early artworks. The study contributes to the understanding of behavioral similarities between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens indicating complex Neanderthal behaviors and possibly the basis for later cultural developments in Homo sapiens. The 2023 studies on Neanderthal diet and use of marine resources revealed significant aspects of their dietary habits both in central Germany and coastal Portugal. The site of No Mark nor one near Hal in central Germany yielded 3,122 elephant remains from more than 70 individual straight-tusked elephants. These elephants now extinct were massive, standing over 13 feet tall and weighing between 6 and 13 tons. Researchers found strategic repetitive cut marks on the elephant bones suggesting that Neanderthals carefully butchered these large mammals for their fat meat and even brains. This practice seemed to have persisted over more than 2,000 years and across multiple generations. 
The massive amount of meat yielded from a single elephant or over 2,500 daily portions of 4,000 calories each s suggests that Neanderthals could feed large groups for extended periods. This indicates potential knowledge of meat storage and preservation techniques possibly through smoking or drying. The predominance of older male elephant specimens suggests active hunting at the site of Gruta de Ferra Brava south of Lisbon. Archaeological deposits contained a variety of shellfish remains predominantly large brown crabs. The crabs estimated to have a carapace width of about 16 cm were harvested from nearby rocky coast pools and brought hold to the cave. The crabs were roasted on coal as indicated by black burn marks on the shells, showing that they were heated at about 300 to 500 Fahrenheit. The fracture patterns on the crab's shells suggested they were intentionally broken open to access the meat. This evidence of cooking and consuming crabs challenges the notion that the use of marine foods was unique to early modern humans. It also indicates a broader spectrum of Neanderthal dietary practices including the consumption of limpets mussels clams and a range of fish. These findings from 2023 significantly enhance our understanding of Neanderthal diet practices debunking stereotypes of them as primitive cave dwellers reliant solely on big game hunting. They demonstrate a sophisticated approach to food acquisition preparation and possibly preservation highlighting. The complexity and adaptability of Neanderthal societies the one mystery that remain unresolved is the Diva Babe flute that was found in the Diva Babe cave in Slovenia and is dated to approximately 43,000 years ago. The artifact is made from the femur of a young cave bear and features several holes that appear to be intentionally made the central debate is whether this artifact is indeed a musical instrument as some suggest or if the holes are the result of carnivore activity like hyena bites. If it is a musical instrument, it would be the oldest known musical instrument in the world and would suggest a level of cultural and cognitive development in Neanderthals previously not attributed to them these were some of the great findings about Neanderthals in the year 2023. Please like and subscribe for more such stories in coming days and years. Thanks for watching.